Now this is a uh, question number 34 object is all example now this is the double sigma and the connected sigma where i varies from 0 to n but um, like you can say j varies from 0 to n whereas i varies from 0 to j so i is less than j that that's what we have to take the values of i are bounded by the values of j that it's all it's always less than j for example, if I take i equal to zero, then 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 possible values j can take are not possible because j should be greater than i, not possible. Uh, so if I take i equal to zero, sorry, j can take values. Let's, let's see other way around. If j equal to zero, i not possible because i should be less than j. If j equal to one, i can take value zero. If j equal to 2, then I can take value 0 to 1, or we can say 0 to j minus 1. j equal to 3, i varies from 0, i equals to 1, i equals to 2, but i cannot be 3 because i has to be less than j, i has to be less than j, till 2, till 1 less than j, or we can say till j minus 1. Now we can generalize this idea. I can write this double summation as, right, summation now in all these cases I'll sum separately I'll take when uh, this is ncj when we have ncj here then uh, let's, let's, let's rewrite this here this double summation equal to let's see uh, I, I'm taking the specific values of i when i equal to uh, 0j is not possible uh, right, so basically, I'll, I'll convert this double summation into sigma single summation based on the values of uh, i and j. So we have just seen when j is zero, right? Then I cannot take any value. When j is one, right? Let, let's write this. When j is one, n c one, then i varies. Uh, sorry this is we have to just add 1 right and when j is 2 nc2 it is uh, when j is 1 i is 0 when j is 2 0 uh, 0 and 1 right that's, that's what we have understood when j is 3 i varies from 0 1 2 right let's take one more example when j is 4 i varies from 0 to 3 goes on now we can generalize this as ncj j varies from uh, and this sum is still j minus 1 right and sigma over j j varies minimum value from 0 to maximum value n right so it is double summi uh, single summation summation ncj j into j minus 1 divided by 2 right so it is half summation j into j minus 1 ncj now we are going to use this formula r into r minus 1 into ncr is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 cr minus 2 using this formula I can write this as n into n minus 1 I take out summation of n minus 2 c j minus 2 where j varies from 1 uh, j varies from uh, 0 to n we can say or there's no contribution of there's no contribution of 0 term 1 to n because you can see from the side j cannot be 0 so it should have been 1 right and again we can say j equal to 1 is contributing 0 here if I put j equal to 1 this is 0 so I start from 2 right j varies from 2 to n and this summation is n into n minus 1 by 2 and this summation is n minus 2 c0 n minus 2 c1 goes on till n minus 2 cn minus 2 n into n minus 1 2 2 to the power n minus 2 right